Hello folks. Today I wanted to demonstrate a system that could be used as a way to check in and check out uh, Chromebooks or devices of some kind. Maybe uh, it's on a daily basis. Uh, let me go over the features of how this works. First of all, uh, this is the sheet that the um, teacher would use and have up on their computer or a librarian as, as they're checking things in and out. And what we would have here is uh, a lookup table on this tab where we have the ID number, say, of, of, of the students, and that it gives them their name and, and the serial number of the device. And, and this would assume that a student would always be picking up the same device. So when the student comes in to pick up the device, they would put in their number. This could be done with a scanner and a barcode. But if I put in a one, what we end up getting, student's name, serial number. Um, let's go and put in a two and a three and a four and a five and so forth. Notice every time I put in a name or a number here, the VLOOKUP, uh, I have a VLOOKUP here and looking up both the name and the serial number all in that one formula. And that's bringing back these two columns. And then this column is automatically generated by an apps script. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. So as you can see, um, students are coming in and they're, they're putting in their ID and their device um, is, is showing which device they should be picking up and putting in a date and time stamp as to when that device is. And as you can see here, I have eight devices checked out. When they bring them back, the teacher just clicks this button here. And what that does is moves it from still checked out over to checked in. It um, automatically puts in a timestamp when you check it in. And if you happen to make a mistake, no problem. If you unclick that, your timestamp goes away and your new timestamp comes in when you click it. So if she uh, was bringing in these different devices, you would see, uh, and what we're doing here, uh, this is a query, uh, just pulling in the devices that aren't checked in. This is a query pulling in the devices that where the check mark is true uh, and pulling in that. And what we're doing there is we have our time out um, and this is our time in. So uh, what we might do with this, actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and rename this. This is time out. That's the time it's checked out. And this is the time in. And now I have my time out, my time in, my duration. So you can see this one is checked out for a minute and 25 seconds and so forth. Um, this system could be used for some other things. You could be doing a, a timer, students uh, doing some kind of work. And, you know, as soon as they got done, you put the check mark in and you can calculate, well, that took you two minutes and 21 seconds. So, so that's kind of cool also. So basically, this is just made up of uh, this page with um, basically the V lookup in this formula. And that's a, an array formula, single formula, returning the data in both of these columns. This column is done with our uh, app script. This column is done with our app script. This is a query pulling in those that are true, uh, where they're returned. And this is a query pulling in those that are still checked out. And we looked already at our VLOOKUP. You would just change that to your ID name and serial numbers and so forth. And then these tabs are just backups. And I'll show you in a minute how that works. And some of these are just uh, done on different days. When you want to go over here and back things up, you just utilities, backup data. It runs a script. And there's my data for September 7th. And you take a look at it. Well, it's actually we're on it. That's the state of the data right now when we went ahead and did that. You can see those are identical. So you could you could run this back up at the end of the day. You could clear out this data and start over uh, with new data 
for each day. And in fact, we, we could, depending on how you wanted this set up, the script could run the backup and then clear out this data. Because these are queries, the only data you'd have to clear out is uh, basically you'd have to return the checkboxes to blank because that would clear that out. And you would just be clearing out the data in these tag numbers. Notice if I remove a tag number, it removes everything but my, my uh, timeout. Uh, I'd have to remove that as well. So this is how the system works. And um, go ahead and put that, that uh, tag back in and check in. And then you can see that one was only out for two seconds. So you might find some use for this. Let's take a look at the app script. Pretty simple app script. We have um, this app script is going ahead and telling you it's, a, it's an on edit script that is getting the column um, and putting in a new date when the, uh, uh, the button is clicked or unclicked. And the backup script is basically, uh, this is the script that puts the uh, utilities menu at the top. And then this is the backup script that takes the data and uh, makes a backup of all the data and do basically duplicates the sheet and um, and puts a name to it. So that's it. That's uh, a system that you might use to check in and check out.